Welcome back to the goo. Welcome back to the goo. Welcome back to the goo. Goo 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 goo. Nah, that ain't right. Goo goo. That ain't right at all. Welcome back to the blub shub blub shub blub. You look so miserable. I'm dancing, but I don't like it. I can't kosher. I can't do it. I'm sorry, McNasty. That great value. The great value intro. <laughs> yeah, we uh, our 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 radio is broken for the day. So uh, I'm Wish McNasty. He's not here. Yeah, you are great value McNasty. Um, oh, how did I end up here? I don't know. Something has gone horribly wrong, and now <laughs> you are McNasty. I'm gonna kill myself. That's the right thing to do. Anyway, <laughs> today we're gonna do a special episode because we didn't know what to talk Never about. Never been done before Aren't they on any all special. <laughs> yeah, they're all spe- Yeah, no podcast has ever thought to do this. We're gonna do a Twitter Q and A. We ask Woo! questions Yay. on our on our Twitter. Yeah, baby. And and you guys asked very serious questions and nothing stupid whatsoever. So we're gonna answer all those very serious questions and nothing stupid Keep them whatsoever. Keep questions rolling. Yeah, uh, even though we could tweet is... out Dude's phone number and have him call, <laughs> like okay. call in. That's a good idea. I'll just oh, talk to you guys been... live on the podcast. That'd be a horrible <laughs> idea if we did like call-ins. <laughs> oh my god! No, just give out Dude's number. He can handle it. Yeah, okay. it's fine. Fellas, I've realized a grave error. I have a brown on my... Where is it? Huh? Did you wipe your I'm ass with you your sleeve? A, a There's brown. brown. There's brown right right there. Oh, Dude, if I wear to the anything podcast. white, I always get it dirty. Like You're I'm wearing a white bro. shirt right now. <laughs> I, it's already dirty. They're like, Dude, this is the first day I've had this shirt, and I already have like some sort of brown stain on it as well <laughs> at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. You're an imp- you probably can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So it was being a shrimp. All right. Uh, <laughs> who wants to pick the first question? Who wants the uh, honor of doing that? Mm, let me refresh. How many questions we got? We have a lot of replies. Not there's there's okay questions. All right. I say we have a, a dedicated, a de- detonated question reader. Do you want to be the detonated question reader? Yeah, I'll read them. Okay, you you can be the I'll detonated go question reader. Oh boy, there's a lot of questions. Uh, let's see. Where am I gonna start here? Blarg. Yeah. How many cars in your collection? Slash. What are they from? Aries. Uh, I have three right now. Well, technically four until Saturday, and that's when one of them goes. But I have uh, a Porsche 718 Spider, a Mercedes AMG GTC, a Mercedes C63S Coupe, and a Alfa Romeo Giulia Quattrofolio until Saturday. Then that car is leaving. You are forever. speaking wingdings to yeah, me. Yeah, I was right about to say yep. that's like some Spanglish boy. <laughs> yep. It was Italian. And what the and hell I is just that? learned how to pronounce it after owning it for like five months. Somebody corrected me and I thought this person's an idiot. But they were actually right, so I was the real idiot. You're a poser. Yep, absolutely. But yeah, that's that's that. That's that's my answer to that one. What got you into liking nice cars and being in car culture? I don't know. Honestly, I feel like the Forza Horizon game, like the first one that was in Colorado. Fair. I was like, damn, this goes kind of hard. And then I was like, wait, these are even cooler in real life. And then I went to school for automotive engineering for like four years. And I was like, wow, I'm not very good at that. So now <laughs> I just yeah. don't do that. <laughs> just drive them instead. <laughs> Games have a lot of influence. You they guys really remember, do. Uh, the mission, no Russian. Do they? <laughs> okay, true. Well, <laughs> uh, true. I've been yeah. thinking about that one. <laughs> Ever since then, I've loved Russians. So. <laughs> they love Nothing else. Country. Nothing else came from that whatsoever. <laughs> Just a oh, big God. Russian fan. I got bored the other day and went on a Mercedes website and I mm-hmm. built a Mercedes. Mm-hmm. I think it was called a Maybach. Right? Oh yeah, the yeah the the fucking Maybach ones. Yeah, those are insane. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I got bored and I just went through and I was like, I want to just build like an um, an amazing Mercedes. Yeah. And get like all the bells and whistles, boy. Let me tell yeah. you something. That Mercedes that I built was I was very surprised at the price of that bad boy. It was, yeah, dude. That thing was like two hundred and twenty thousand dollars when I got Damn. done building it. That's actually not that Absurd. bad for a Maybach. Usually the Mybox are like, dude, the Mybox can get fucking crazy. But the thing about those ones is you want to be in the back seat. You don't want to drive that one. You want to, you. Uh, but at that point, you could probably just afford a chauffeur to have you, uh, you know, drive you around all the time. But yeah, yeah uh, Mybox, so. you want to, you want to be in the back. You don't want to be in the front of that thing. They're like, 
driving a cloud. They just feel like nothing happening. <laughs> yeah, but, it was sick though. Like it had yeah. like the the champagne thing in the middle. Yeah, of it. Like, yeah. Those are, you could yeah, like customize wild. the interior. Yeah, the leather seats, boy. Dang, yeah, those things. Those things are fucking crazy. They are massive too. Like so they just have so much. Bag. Yeah, uh, they're uh, yeah. So like, there's Mercedes and there's Mer- Mercedes <laughs> Maybach, um, which is like, essentially they take a regular S class or a GLS, which is like their biggest car and their biggest SUV, and then they just do a lot of like interior and engine tweaks to make it like as comfy and luxurious as as physically possible. But yeah, those things are really fucking cool. I like their version of a G wagon too. Wh- yeah. Whatever they call it, isn't it called yeah. like a G something? Uh, they have the GLS. 600 i think it is gls 600 or is it the 580 i don't know something like that i don't know i don't know a ton about my box they've not been my uh they've not been my cup of tea well i don't know They're if it's cool. a my box it's just like their version of a g-wagon i guess like that big box oh yeah 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 they have the g cars, yeah they have the look, g-wagons it looks pretty yeah mercedes yeah. is the one that made the the g-wagon and came up with that that kind of idea um well not the idea of like a jeep shaped car but uh yeah g-wagon is specific to mercedes Fuck those yeah, things are dude. those things are weird. They're wild. Mercedes are so nice. Yeah, they're cool. They're very cool. I've I've had I think four, and I I, I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I've only ever time drove I'm, one, and it wasn't mine. Well, I drove well, a Mercedes Sprinter van one time, and that, even hell that, yeah. I was like, damn, I was like, damn, dude, this thing rides so nice to be a fucking <laughs> van. Like, this is nice. Yeah, those are. T- have you ever been in like uh, the back of one that somebody has like completely fucking like souped up and stuff with like leather and tvs and like marble floors and crazy shit what the hell? Wow. yeah those are insane uh marble a company my dad a car. yeah literally a company my dad works for they like they travel quite often and uh throughout like us um and a lot of the time it's not far enough to bother taking a plane so if it's like a two-hour drive they all just get in the back of the sprinter van and there's like you can recline the chairs all the way back so they're basically a bed and there's like tvs they have like I don't know if it's real marble or faux marble. I imagine real marble would be too heavy, but there's like a marble-ish looking type of floor and like wood everywhere. They're crazy. They're wild. Yeah, I saw I saw one of those. I didn't get in it because I was like, yeah. I'm not getting in this thing. I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sh- worthy. I'm but. not sure that shit like that exists in Missouri. I have never seen anything even close to that. Like, I mean, not, like one of we the have most old impressive- car shows here, but like yeah, none you of this guys have a lot shit. of cool old shit. Well, yeah. one of the most impressive car collections in in North America. Guess what state it's in? Missouri. Just take a guess. No. Alabama. Ohio. Ohio oh, has Ohio. one of the best car collections. It's called the Triple F Collection. It's a di- a guy and his son, I think it is. But they have like uh, fucking insane cars. They have like cars that are worth like four million dollars, and they'll just drive them in like a snowstorm, just just because why not? They're actual oh psychos God. in the best way. Yeah, they're they're dope though. They're really <coughs> cool dudes. Uh, but yeah, no yeah, cars are insane. cars are cool, but I don't know. Cars are also like just vanity flex purchases to a lot of people, which kind of fucking sucks and makes them like pretty lame. Like the amount of like influencers that immediately just go Lamborghini Huracan time. I need to post this on Instagram and then yeah. leave it in the garage for three years is very sad. But hey, you know, people got the money for it. Do what they want. There's this huge influx of like, and I know you guys aren't on TikTok a lot, but like. There's this huge influx of young dudes who are, like, 20 years old who are, like, uh, apparently money gurus now. And they talk about how, like, if you're 20 and you don't own a Lamborghini already, then you really need to sit down and have a serious talk with yourself. How do you not already have a Lambo? You know? It's so and stupid. It's it, perfectly normal to be 20 and not have a Lambo. Like, what kind of pressure <laughs> is that, bro? That's, That's wild. Cool. Yeah. And, and, and you like, know they're just selling like some some MLM bullshit too. Some sort oh yeah, of, no, absolutely. You know they're just trying to get you to buy their their laundering, their money, multi level yeah. marketing bullshit. Not laundering. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there might be a bit of that too, <laughs> but yeah, no, people are fucking lame that just like look at it for the financial aspect and don't look at any of the, you know, interesting engineering and. Well, sure, you know, and they're just what, using what, it like, to flex. Like you're yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's so what I'm saying. Like that shit's fucking so lame. <clears throat> but yeah, they're they're cool in the right context, and then there's also. I don't know. Car culture is really fucking cool too, and I like how it like brings a lot of people together. Um, yeah. If you if you go in the right you know right areas, like uh, I don't know if you, either of you know who Keller is. He films for Wildcat, does a lot of editing, also works for Whistle and Diesel. I've heard um, the name. But he owes he owes yeah. car meets, and there's just like they've done a ton of charity shit with it, and like it just I don't know. It's just cool seeing like people being interested in all sorts of different cars, like all coming together just for enjoying, you know what they bring to people. So I don't know. I think that aspect is dope from them. Yeah, for yeah. sure. 
Yeah, we can talk about other things now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we ate up like 10 minutes of car shit. But yeah, hey, these man, guys I, obsessed I love, with cars. I love listening to people talk about what they're passionate about. Yeah. So I, I dig it. Yeah, it's uh, dope. Absolutely. Do let me see them toes from Aries. Same person. Don't take your socks. Oh off. my Don't. God! Oh, you went you went full nude on us. Yep. Bro, oh, put those oh, away. No Bro, what, are you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Dude, we did the same thing. <laughs> there you go, Aries. <laughs> them crispy grippers. <laughs> Get the dogs out for the boys. I, uh, uh, Soup, when's your band coming to Colorado? I have no Ooh. idea. Hopefully soon. I want to play Red Rocks. I thought you were going to say Red hopefully Rocks. never. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not going to happen. Fuck that state. Fuck everyone there. <laughs> Real question. Colorado's... When y'all coming to Michigan? Dude, I want to play Flint, Missouri. Michigan. I don't know if you want to play Flint. I want to drink some water from there. Flint, wa Flint, Michigan water challenge. You could drink down the downtown Detroit water. It's quite good there. Mm, it's only slightly right yellow. In the canal. No, it's actually got good water. Detroit's great. I'll fucking die on the hill for that. Detroit is one of the best cities in the U.S. right now. You'll Downtown die Detroit. If you go to Detroit. There will be Bro, a hill it is in Detroit so that safe. <laughs> Just don't leave downtown. Just stay in downtown. If you leave there, yes, you will get shot, and they will pull your skin off, and they'll probably make a flag. But if you stay downtown, <laughs> it is fucking awesome there. It's so nice. There's so many little like shops and stuff like that. There's a bunch of, like, I don't know, nicer stores and restaurants, and nobody's going to, like, try to, you know, peddle you for crack. Like, it's just, it's it's awesome down there. I love it. It's great. I'm down to go. I know people, like, make jokes and memes, but I, I try not to judge shit until I actually, like, go and see it and get my I own mean, it was horrible. opinion on it. Like when I used to <laughs> which, go, over, which is it, Blarg? I can't. No, keep it up was with the horrible. Plot. I said, I said <laughs> was. That's different than is. That's a past tense. When uh, I like when when I was a kid, my dad used to he like had uh, Red Wing season tickets, and whenever we'd go over there, I'd always be like, Dad, why don't we hang out in Detroit and like go get food or something? He would not like he would refuse. Like especially around 2008, Detroit was fucking horrible. Like even downtown, just a ghost town. You could drive down like. Any of the most popular streets in the middle of the day, no cars, no people, nothing going on, empty houses everywhere, empty businesses, like 90% of the buildings were up for lease or for sale or whatever. It was just like, it was insane. It was not a good place. So like, I get why Detroit has this reputation, um, cause it was really, really hit hard during the like recession, but it's, it's great now. I love it. It's such a nice city. I'd go and, and see it. Yeah, that's all you need to do. From, I mean, <laughs> binoculars. Well, then from you can Canada. just come here. We just get. Yeah, we just get to look at it. Our, our, they have to look at our depressing ass city. I just there's like a restaurant in Windsor that just overlooks uh, Detroit, and you just eat there and go. Wow, that's a pretty place to look at and not not be in sometimes. There's 18 yeah, stabbings a, uh, happening right now on the yeah, I'll get a telescope or something and just look over. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do fair. any chance we're gonna see more? Guitar on Omegle from Steve Red. Of course. That never goes away. I will always be doing that. Sometimes I take breaks, though, because I can't do that all the time. I can't look at naked dicks all the time. And What? The, yeah, I know. Shock horror. But, it's uh, no privilege, bro. Yeah, no, man. I, I've been doing them for so long that sometimes I have to take little, little like, creative breaks and... Like, I took a break last year to work on some actual music, so I didn't make one for a couple months, and people were like, Bro, what the fuck? Where's my, where's my Omegle? Which I understand, but, you know, sometimes you gotta take a break and switch it up. Yeah, absolutely. Understandable. That's fair. Fair and reasonable and valid. And I got one I'm working on right now with the double guitar that you will enjoy. Ooh, yes, yes mama. Baby. Blarg, we need car stuff on YouTube, not a question. A request. Damn, I didn't even say a demand. We demand Bro, more car stuff. I've said it a million times on like stream and shit. I'm gonna do it once I'm retired from gaming. It's too. I want to make a fucking car show. I want to actually have a budget. I want to do stuff. I want to go to Africa and buy three shitty ass cars there and drive across Africa with my friends. I want to do that shit, but okay. you can't really do that on a weekend and then come home Monday and record funny gaming moment. Like that's just not reality. So it, eventually, but you're trying uh, hard uh, enough. Until I can make that, I'm I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm either doing it a hundred. I'm giving it all, or I'm giving it nothing. I respect so. that. You want to go all in on it. You want to yeah. make it nice. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, like I, I want to make a fucking car show. So I'll do that after. 
That'd once be I'm dope. done gaming. You ever you ever considered doing like a YouTuber car show, or do you think that that would just be such a, a shit show or shit post or whatever? What do you mean, like having YouTubers do it with me, or or have like a uh, I don't know if this is already a thing. Like I said, I don't know anything about cars or or any of that, but uh, like I don't know, maybe something like I guess not like packs, but like an event for like YouTubers to all kind of show up with their cars and. Oh, that'd be kind of like sick, a, actually. A, a YouTuber mm. car show. Yeah, I don't know why nobody's actually thought of that. I'm surprised. No, that'd be fucking tight. I'd I'd totally do that. But like somewhere like central US would be fucking sick. Missouri. Just everybody drive. Well, I don't know I'll, about that. I'll, br- I'll bring my thinking, I'll bring my O nine Camry. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm thinking a little more like, you know, like Tennessee area, Nashville, like some or Texas or you know, somewhere. So not somewhere central. Well as in I'm as central as it gets. In the West can kinda I know what you mean. Come, yeah. the North doesn't matter. Nobody in fucking there's nobody Got listening right, right now in Minnesota that's like, time <laughs> to bring my Lamborghini down. This is not happening. Yeah. It's not, that's not what's going on. I'll so, ride my buggy with a lawnmower engine on it to the meetup. <laughs> that'd actually go kind of hard. That'd be kind of sick. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be dope. driving them. That'd be, no, what uh, that'd that? actually be a hell of a good idea. What do people do around here? People put, like, fucking lawnmower engines on, like, mopeds or something i don't oh, know what they do i've watched uh i watched uh a bunch of shit i think it was in the southern u.s people took lawnmowers and they like took the blades off obviously but the riding lawnmowers and they put like go-kart engines or like little two-stroke like motorcycle engines in them and just ripped around on lawnmowers and they did like racing and shit and it was so fucking fun to watch it was so funny i watched the video I th- you actually i think i sent it to you yeah i think yeah, i told you, you to watch, you told it, me to watch it the channel. lawnmower racing thing yeah, yeah yeah those yeah. go hard those are so fun to watch <laughs> That'd be so fun to do, too. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good time. How fast do they even go at top speed? It was like 30 or 40, something like that. Wow. that's I, I thought it was going to... Miles gonna, per hour? It, I thought I it was going to max wrong. out at about like 10 miles an hour. Like super anticlimactic. I, I feel like that's what I remember from the video. Yeah, that, might, would, might, that, would, that would make sense. Might be wrong on that. I feel that's like highway crazy. speeds would start to get a little little shaky on a lawnmower. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be <laughs> yeah, wanting to do like, brave. In like 70 miles an hour on <laughs> a fucking lawnmower. Hell no. <laughs> uh soup when's the next album slash single coming out for slack jaw from steve red as well uh we do not know we are whack we are writing <laughs> we have oh god i don't even know probably 15 15 ish i'm gonna say like songs but they're like it, it's all sort of like jumbled it, it's like it's like being in a being in a band and writing music for some people is like putting together a puzzle because sometimes you'll have like a riff or whatever or like part of a song like part of a song and it's like well I've I've wrote this but now I'm kind of stuck with where it should go or what we should do next so we have like 15ish ideas that are floating about some are finished we have we probably have like five songs that are finished oh, and by finished i mean the demo is finished so we still have to go and i still got to write lyrics which is something i'm trying to work harder on like l- writing lyrics that are actually good <laughs> and not just uh I mean, which not to, not to say for I've your, i was going to say for but, your like for your first album that you guys put out that was far from bad like yeah. very far most youtubers first like dip into music i'm like oh oh not good usually it kind of hurts a little bit to listen to but i mean even your yeah. first song like i thought it was fine it's just metal's never exactly been known for the most profound lyrics has it yeah like that style I, of metal yeah and i, I still want to take more time and make it more uh, i guess just make it better all around you know like a progression of things like you know, we had our first album, our second album, and our second album, in my opinion, is better than the first. We want to make the the third one that we do and the more music that we do. We just want to make it all around. We want to make it sound better. It's written better. There's more parts that Substance. make more sense. Yeah, just all yeah. around. Better sound, better quality for, from, from everything. Better so. pizza, Papa Jones. Papa Jones. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it, it's, it's hard to do, but, like, if you take time and, and you know, take a – take hands off from it for a little while because sometimes you might come up with something and be like, Oh, this is the coolest shit ever. And then you come back to it in a week and you're like, Oh, yeah, what, what was I thinking? Fuck? And I, we've, we've had plenty of moments like that where we write something. This is like, bro, this is not it. You get writer's block sometimes with this. 
Oh yeah, creative big, blocks, big time. Yeah, yeah. I always find that when I when I need to sit down and write something, that's usually when writer's block sets in. And like the best shit I've ever wrote has been like random out of nowhere. Just like I wasn't planning yeah. on making music today, but I had this idea, and here's a whole song in like two hours. So that's sick. Yeah. It's good yeah. to to do stuff creatively when you're feeling uh, creative and not yeah. forcing yourself to do it. Yeah, yeah. For, with, forcing with, always is just rough. That's rough. Yeah. Well, um, uh, I was going to say Landon from uh, The Plot and You, or he has his own music uh, just under Landon Tours. Uh, but he, there was, I think it was a year straight, I think he said, but there was a year straight where he forced himself to write one song a day. He said some were Ooh. amazing, some were horrible. But he, like, whether it was good or bad, he just did it to get it done and, like, you know, practice, you know, working on the idea of using your brain even when you don't feel super creative and stuff like that. And uh, from what he said, it was, like, super useful. And yeah. he learned a lot about, like, taking, you know, he he quickly found a pattern of what he liked and what he didn't like and what worked well for him. Hell, yeah. That's I actually just a good exercise, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. I can never fucking do that shit. Like, even when I was super into music, I, I would have not been able to do a song a day that's like that's ridiculous levels of dedication to it also it's to a just good practice you, also to just get your workflow up because there's sometimes like just because you know what you want to write actually getting it into a daw exactly how you hear it in your head yeah. is a skill in and of itself so oh absolutely writing music not easy, no, uh, not easy. emily asks what ta what tasks make you feel like you've actually done something with your life within a day recording uh, Recording, hitting render on like video. Yeah, I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like recording's like the biggest one for me. I always feel like I could have sat there and jacked my dick for 12 hours of the day. But if I took two hours to record that day, I feel like I did something useful. Yeah. I if I get good-ass reactions that. on Omegle, that feels pretty good. Because those yeah. are hard to come by. Yeah. I agree with that. Making a, a good video or even just getting a good recording session in, mm -hmm. you know, doing your job always yeah. feels good. But even besides that, like just getting up and, you know, maintaining your living area can have a big mm -hmm. effect on that. Like cleaning up For your sure. room or make your bed, taking a, taking a oh. shower, even though I haven't showered today. You can probably, I mean, I look like a busted fucking Eskimo over here, but <laughs> <laughs> you look cute, busted babe. Eskimo. I think you look great. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that, you know, that is a very, uh, what's the word? An answer that is dependent upon who you ask. Yeah, I feel like YouTube, half of the job is just trying to find ways to keep yourself busy. Because, like, this job has so much fucking downtime. And, like, you can spend that downtime in a lot of very bad <laughs> ways for your health and mental health. and As YouTubers do. And, and yeah, and other things. Yep. Um so I feel like half of what you should be doing as a YouTuber is like trying to find little tasks that make you feel like you're doing shit, even if it's like the most mundane thing ever, like realizing you need ketchup and going to the store and getting ketchup. Like <laughs> you literally have to do that shit as as a content creator, even musicians, like whenever there's downtime, because there's so fucking much of it with those careers that it's like you got to fill it with something <laughs> useful. <laughs> yeah, and not... <laughs> drugs and yeah. being and alcohol and being and, lazy and yeah, going and after underaged people for fuck's sake that the is people a in this one. job oh my god yeah, i mean that's yeah one. that's even in the music industry i feel like that's any like thing where you have like fans like Parasocial where you perceive relationships. yeah where you like yeah. perceive viewers as fans i feel like any of those careers if you're like an insecure fucking weirdo that's immediately where it goes is like I'm going to have coitus with a 16-year-old. Please don't take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect clip. Nobody was talking over it. F9. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually insane how easy yeah. it is to not sex a minor. Just I don't know, filling man. Your Sometimes time I'm asking uh, where the coal is, and, you know, I like to learn how to mine properly, so I like to sex a minor. <laughs> True. Finding, finding ways to fill your time with positive right. uh, activities. Like yeah, a spin yeah. class. I actually, dude, sure yesterday, <laughs> you won't believe so this. Dude, yesterday I uh, I did Zumba. Why? I did Zumba because I was bored. I had nothing better to do. I, I had literally nothing to do yesterday. That's I, a unique level of boredom to do Zumba. Uh, yeah, that's like, I usually like make my better, like ask my friends to go out and like do something fun. <laughs> it's just like Zumba time, baby. 
I, I was like, bro, I, I want to be more active and eat healthier and, and okay, just, uh, you know, treat myself better than just, you know, I have free time, so I'm just going to watch YouTube or watch a yeah. show or, or something. So just trying to trying to find stuff to do with my time. So I was Hell like, yeah. hey, Zumba. I, tried, I did like some Latin Zumba thing. Oh, bro. to be a fly on the wall Lat- when you were doing bro. this? <laughs> I was killing that shit, dude. I was killing that shit. I was... Yeah. A, I'm I'm sore today. I only it was supposed to be a 30 minute Zumba like class thing. I got to 10 minutes. I was like, bro, I ain't cut out to be a TikTok dancer. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Kick your hey, ass. If the hey, career man. ever took a, a downward spiral, I think I could I could pull through and and uh, Renegade. shake my ass, shake my ass on TikTok. So hell yeah, I'd watch that. Yeah, <laughs> I'd 100 percent watch that. Uh, Drew asked, longest time without showering. Uh. I know mine. I think probably a I, week. Rookie numbers. When probably I had an allergic, week, yeah. when I had an allergic reaction, um, when I was, I want to say fifteen. I think it was. I think I've told the story before, um, where they never found out what I was allergic to. But I was in the hospital for like testing for like two weeks straight, and they didn't want to let me go because they thought I'd just go home and die because they were worried it was like something at my house. Uh, so the entire like two weeks, because I was so like my entire body was inflamed and I was so like itchy everywhere and my skin was so dry that any water hurt. So I didn't shower for like pr- at least two weeks. It was probably two, two and a half. And I smelt horrible. Whoa. All I did was sit in the bed and I sat like this cause it was comfortable to have my arms resting. Um, I don't know why. So like I sat like this, it was just constant skin to skin contact. And I didn't have clothes on for the most part cause oh, they were like oh, super yeah, itchy baby. and they hurt. So I was just sitting there and, <laughs> right here from my armpit down to like where my fucking nipple is i could just smell all day and it was just bad it was literally the worst part of that like it was worse than like being in a hospital or any of the stabby tests where they like do they stab you with like 60 things to see what you're allergic to like it was worse than all that just smelling my fucking rotting flesh it was oh, awful. God damn. Yeah, and don't, like don't you recommend. couldn't you couldn't shower or you couldn't like bathe I, off or I could, but it hurt so bad that I just was like uh-uh, I'm waiting till these these heal cuz like imagine having like cuz I wouldn't itch during the day. Like I had the restraint to not itch while I was awake, but when I was asleep, I couldn't control it. I would just fucking itch. And like imagine having like an entire open wound on every extremity of your body and then oh. getting in water. It was just, dude, it was, just it was not fun. Shit. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't feel good at all. Um, but they like, like they had, the nurses would like help out and they would like basically give you like the equivalent of a sponge bath is the best I could describe it as. Um, but it was like, also they'd put like the topical like solutions on it. So it would just like, it felt like they weren't even like showering you because you would just get sticky and smell and be gross again. So it was just like, I actually showering felt pointless too. It was just not fun, not a good experience. But yeah, don't uh, don't have allergic reactions to things. That's my that's my reaction or that's my that's my advice to all the goons. How do uh, I start taking that advice now? Because I'm allergic to everything. Yeah, do I, I just don't know. stop. Just work on that. Work on that, man. <laughs> yeah, do what you can. My mine was a week, and I remember because I. I kind of did it for a meme, and I was Ew. like, <laughs> the gross ass meme. Week. Well, I was, dude, I was <laughs> fucking, I was probably 14 or something. Oh, okay. 14, well, 15. Right. Yeah, I was still living uh, with my parents, and it was during the summer, which is the worst oh. time to do this. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, South I Carolina remember, summer, too. Oh, swamp humidity, ass baby. Yeah. That humidity, let me tell you. I'm surprised mm-hmm. gators uh, didn't move into your ass. <laughs> Just yeah. thought it was a fucking swamp in there. Just a, wa- a wasp no home. nest in my on my gooch. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I I did it because uh, I had Call of Duty Four on my Nintendo Wii, uh, and I just I was oh, so yeah. addicted. And it was, there was like a week. Uh, no there was way a you're week. addicted to the Wii version of COD Four. That's all I had. That's bro. like the that's most all embarrassing I... sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> that's all I that's fucking sad. had. Son. That's, that's worse than the no showers. <laughs> One of the most third world sentences I've ever heard. <laughs> I feel like it's I hear a uh, Guatemalan kid say that like today. <laughs> <laughs> I was addicted to that reflex edition, boy. That shit was busting. Well, so what? Did they go yeah. down for maintenance and you're like, oh shit, I smell I smell horrible. I better go shower. It's the only I'm thing that got sure you I, off. No, I'm pretty sure I just I played that bitch from sun up to sun down and just went to bed and did nothing else for like a week. And then after a week I was like, because I kind of wanted to, like a, a 
I guess like a, a masochist part of me was like, you know what? I'm just going to do this just because like, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to smell gonna, like I'm gonna, shit. I'm going to game for a week and smell like shit to just... <laughs> Because I can. You know. This is America. Then you, made a, then you made a career out of gaming and smelling like shit. That's absolutely like yes, yes, sir. That's when my third eye opened and I knew my calling. <laughs> mine so was nasty. Uh, mine was probably when yeah. I had a, a a really bad flu for about five days, and then was I was. It, it was. It bad, was yeah. the. Was it, it was the flu? It was the shit mattress flu. Yep. The so, flu. The flu. So I. So I was. I was. Puking and shitting constantly for about a day and a half, and then I was uh, nauseous for about four days, three, two, 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 three days after that, and then I was t so weak and dehydrated that I couldn't drag myself to the shower. So I had a, a swampy, diarrhea-caked ass mattress. I had puked all over myself, and um, I probably oh. smelled like um, like, a, like a, a clicker from from Last yeah. of Us or something. Some Dude, rotting. That is nasty. Yeah, that was the, probably the <laughs> oh. lowest I've ever been in my entire life, just as a human. <laughs> oh. And I was sleeping on a- I, I was recovering from the illness on a shit-caked bed. Yes, sir. That is awful. I feel- That's I'm surprised you didn't get like- immune system. Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> you didn't just fucking die, like just get- Get dysentery some or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> fucking botulism from your Septic shit. Septic shock. Yeah, your- your doo-doo and puke goes into a wound and you just- <laughs> Time. And then I become a giant shit monster. <laughs> Yeet asks, what is your favorite song slash album at this time? At this current Album time? is hard. Album is really hard. It's a lot of individual songs that I'm really fucking with. Like, um... Yeah. Um, The Summoning. Sleep Token's really oh, good. Oh, dude, Sleep Token's whole, like, that uh, little EP they put out. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I've had that shit on repeat the last, like, week yeah. nonstop. It the bangs. last minute, uh, the minute and a half, last minute of and a half of summoning is so fucking dope. Uh, it's aqua yeah. regia, super fucking cool. Uh, chokehold's great, like just insane what they're doing right now. Yeah, super unique. You should definitely check them out. Um, yeah, I don't know I, what genre to right even now. call them. They're they're, they're a bit all everything. over the place, but they it's do just... like weird like. Genty piano ballads, like they're all over the place. Yeah, it's like progressive metal. Then it goes into like some, like popish kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. they're just they're just, just like interesting. They're just like screw it, we'll just be everything. So they're yeah. they're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah they're respect. very fucking cool. I'd say I, I want to see right one now. of their uh, I want to see one of their live shows because like <laughs> they're good. I, like some of their stuff they do, I I really really like. And then there's some elements that I'm not a super big fan of, but I feel like once I go see them live, then I'll have yeah. a different opinion because I've heard their live shows are pretty spectacular. Have you, have you seen what they like look like live? I don't know. I what saw. Any of them look so like. I watched one video of them, and I think it was Resurrection Fest, maybe. Yeah, and, so but like, they were they were still small at the time, so they they had like okay. no production. You know, they were like an opening band, I guess. So here, dude, nothing, this is nothing crazy. This is usually what uh, what he looks like for for his shows. The vocalist. Oh no, I know his costume and everything. Like I know how yeah, he looks. Dude yeah, dude said he hasn't. Oh shit. Yeah. That no, is he like hard so. Poor. He his identity has been has been leaked, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, like nobody knew who any of them were, and they kind of just came out of nowhere. Which is ah. really fucking dope. Um, yeah, they're they're crazy. They like what a year ago probably had less than a hundred thousand listeners on Spotify, and right now they're sitting at one point seven mil. Yeah, they per popped month, off, which is crazy. Like that's yeah, an super insane talented. growth. Super but, super talented. The, yeah. the just the musical aspect of it from mm -hmm. for how they go from some like almost Mashuga level. Yeah, metal like shit. Genting, to, yeah. To like the 1975 or whatever they're called, that like mm -hmm. the more poppy mm -hmm. yep. kind of stuff or whatever. Like it's that's no easy task. No, that at is all. very it's difficult to do, especially because he has a vocal range to do it all, and the band, the whole band, can like kind of suit whatever genre they feel like playing or whatever they want to do. It's super fucking cool. Yeah, his yeah. range big, is big respect, unreal. Respect. Yeah, his range is crazy. His falsettos are so fucking nuts. <laughs> but yeah, they're dope. I'd probably say they're my favorite right now, but like my my favorite past album was probably silent planets most recent album that's that's one of my favorites i have not heard them year or so they're uh they're um, awesome dudes i love them silent i've i've heard of silent planet yeah uh i homies. would say favorite 
right now for me would probably be oh god it's so hard to pick an, an album album's hard yeah album say, is really uh, tough i could name a v, bunch of singles i'm into but yeah v by the band havoc they're uh like thrash heard that. thrash band out of colorado well i think i don't know if they're i don't think all the guys live in colorado but havoc is a fantastic band uh spelled with a k H A V O K Havoc. I've never heard of them. They're uh very old school. A lot of like Slayer, Megadeth, old school Metallica Ooh. kind of influence, but it was a more modern kind of a approach to it, I guess. That sounds so, sick. A lot of a lot of shit they do is awesome. Their lead guitar player Reese Scruggs just uh, filled in with uh, Machine Head on one of their runs, Damn. and so they're really really talented and really good songwriting. Yeah. That's super I'd fun. Definitely cool. check them out. <clears throat> yeah, no, I definitely will. Do you guys have like a favorite fun. album of all time? <sighs> hard, hard. Yeah, hard, it's hard, so hard. tough. Especially because like I feel like all of us like so many genres too, so it's kind of tough to like yeah. really pick one. Like I could pick something from like Pink Floyd or fucking Mac Miller or like uh, Kendrick or you know somewhere in the metal area. Like there's just so many options there, but. I think mine personally is Circles by Mac Miller. I think that's my favorite album ever. It's so good. That's tough. Mm. I would say And Justice for All by Metallica for me. That's good. That's fair. I like that answer. I'll allow it. What? uh, I I don't know what the album's name is. It's the one that Spirit Box put uh, Holy Roller. uh, Eternal Blue, probably. That's That's your favorite album? Really? That's... that's Big pick. It, That's sick, it, though. It, it, it's it's for lack of a better answer right now because I don't really, I don't really have yeah. an album that I would listen to like start to finish and be like, yeah, yeah. There's no sleepers on this, but like this one, I like all the songs on. I don't yeah. have like a better. That's a answer good right now. fucking album. That band also came out of nowhere. They literally were just like nowhere and then everywhere all at once. Yeah, yeah. I, they're, they're I really so got into sick. them recently. Yeah, they are so fucking good. I want to see her live. I want her to scream in my ass. Dude, have you watched her, like, ser- I think it's Sirius XM, um, sessions that she did? Um, Where she just she does just, one like, takes? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, man. I she's would, insane. Uh, she's got fucking chops. She's, yep. like, a I, lot of, I, I saw remember. Her live. She's you really did? Good. They're, yeah, their they're band what? live is great. That's crazy. If I remember that's who when I'm they, thinking of. Let me see. I mean, there's not many, uh, you know, female leads in the metalcore scene. But uh, I remember when they were, like, popping off and everyone was like, oh, it's just because it's a female vocalist. Like, nobody would listen to them if it was a man. And then a bunch of yeah, people... Yeah, it was were, Spirit uh, Box. That, and then a bunch of people yeah. on the Reddit were like, wait, she's a woman? Because, like, <laughs> all of r slash Metalcore was, like, praising them like crazy. And, like, half the people didn't even realize that, like, the full uh, lead was a, was a female, which is fucking hilarious. Like, Ginger? You ever listen to uh, Ginger? Yeah, Ginger's sick. And, uh, Actually, Arch, I think you showed Arch me Ginger. Enemy. Arch enemy is pretty sure it's you. Female yeah. lead. Oh yeah. The first time I heard them, I I had no clue. Not that it yeah. matters or anything. But no. I just didn't Somebody's even... got chops. They got chops. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They can yeah. out scream ninety nine point nine percent of all people. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. that shit's no. very hard to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, this question kind of goes into what we're talking about. Go to karaoke song from Tori. I've never done Ooh. karaoke. I've never done karaoke. Either. If you had to pick, though, if you all right, all right, you you're out with some buddies. You've got a few drinks in you. You're feeling confident. You have to go do karaoke. Africa by Toto. <laughs> I mean, come I on. Like, I feel like you got to do like a fan favor. Like you got to do something that other people will help, like sing with you. Sing I feel like I do with, like yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody just because yep. everybody would be like into that. Like yep. I don't know anybody that would be like, oh, what the fuck? Why would you pick this? Like, I feel like that's just a safe bet, and it's fun, and honestly, it's a, it's a really fun song to sing. There's, like, a lot of different, like, uh, types of uh, uh, vocal techniques you need to use for that whole song, so I'd probably do that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'd probably do um, With Arms Wide Open by Creed. That's a good one. With Arms Wide Open. I feel like I could, I feel like I'd have the whole bar crying. <laughs> Everyone be holding their lighters. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Because I, I wouldn't funny. even need to look at the screen, dude. I'd just be going in on it. I'd be running around the bar. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good one. That's a good pick. I like that one. We gotta I'd do karaoke sometime. Get drunk. Goons karaoke, karaoke would be fucking fun. I I mean, if we hung out in L.A., that would have been an option. But 
but uh, Mr. Dusif had to get ill. Uh, pretty, pretty selfish of you, honestly. I'm sorry. I'll All right, kill we're my doing family. karaoke in Detroit. <laughs> Thoughts? Oh, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be more like karaoke and dance dance revolution trying to dodge all the bullets. <laughs> um Man. Grim Reefer says, Do you guys follow any sort of script for the podcast? I know it's like <laughs> a clusterfuck, but is there at least any sort of structure? What we're doing Trying right now one. is the most this is structure the most structured, yeah. We ever do. <laughs> yeah. Trying yeah. to start one with my friends too, and any help is good. Grim Reefer, uh, if they're your friends, and you know you get past that awkward stage of being on camera and talking into a microphone that everyone kind of goes through just uh be yourself and if they're, yeah. they're your friends just the conversation be should your friends yeah be friends flow flow naturally just talk about anything everything that's what we do we talk about fucking crabs and we sit here and bullshit look. just like you would like on a on a friday night that's basically all this is we just sit here and bullshit so just I mean, have fun with it I feel like we did this shit well before we had a podcast where we'd literally all just like finish recording and sit in Discord. We still do it where we like finish recording. We'll sit in Discord for a bit and just literally talk about nothing like, but it depends where your podcast is about, I suppose. Like if you start a podcast that's talking about like, I don't fucking know music. I feel like it'd be smart to have some sort of structure where you're like, sure. Hey, this band, this band, this band released an album. Um, or let's break down this song and see why people like this song. Like, what is so likable about it? Like, I feel like then you'd kind of need a structure. But if you're go going for the same kind of vibe that, like, we have or the Misfits have or, like, you know, any of those goofy-ass brain-dead podcasts, um, then, yeah, literally just hang out with your friends and, yeah, you know. If it's personality-based, just bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Just, just enjoy doing talking to your friends. Enjoy being friends with them. That's all you got to do. Conversation. It's all about the conversation. It's the brother. vibe, The vibes. Um, they don't have a name, so I'm just going to say they're at Sascrotch. <laughs> I like that name. Sascrotch? Sascrotch. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, we'll start with do. Oh. Do, you ha do you plan on releasing more music similar to But I Pretend I'm a Beginner genre-wise? Um, potentially. That was a super, like, experimental song. <sighs> so there were elements of it that I liked, uh, and elements that I didn't like about it, because uh, I had never done singing like that. Everything up to that point was kind of just like, uh, you know, like ho my Hallelujah cover, that kind of stuff. Super soft, because that's like my natural singing voice or whatever, so I would like to try it more. I just would like to get better before I do another song like that, you know, because that was super experimental. But I I I'm a big Hell fan yeah. of Dance Gavin Dance, like a, a close, like... Tough. <laughs> What tough do you mean? Time to be a, tough oh. time to be a fan. Well, it's been a hard year for the band. <laughs> um, one of the members died, and one of them did some essay or something. I'm not sure exactly what, what, yeah. what and all he did. But we do a little bit of sexual assaulting. But, um, yeah, like a close like runner-up album for me would be like Mothership. Um, really solid album. A good album. I, I love them. That's a really but, good um, album. <coughs> so, yeah, big, big, big inspired by them, but um, potentially. I just, just want to get a little bit better at that genre of singing. Fuck, yeah. Hell yeah. Blarg, what is something from America that you wish you had in Canada, if anything? LOL. Temperatures. That's about it, I think. Um, Them shrimp and grits, baby. I would love uh, barbecue. Barbecue and Whoa. your temperatures. There we go. That's my that's my answer. Um, I mean, there's like, listen, I like U.S. I think U.S. is a dope country, but I like a lot of things about Canada, <laughs> personally. Like, I don't know if I could live there. But, uh, yeah, your barbecue is fucking – just food in general. A lot of American food is, like, really fucking good. I know other countries make fun of America just because they, like, load everything up with salt and fat. But, like, why is that a bad thing? There's a if reason. it tastes good, it tastes good. Yeah, like, so what if your average population is 360 pounds? You know, it. What more do you good need, food. baby? Y'all got good food? <laughs> That's all we fucking need. Um, yeah, no, I, I probably, probably the barbecue and then, um, uh, like the temperatures of the South, I, I am quite jealous of maybe not the humidity. Y'all can keep that, but like, you yeah. know, uh, winter being, you know, 60 degrees in some places that fucking, I'll take that all day. Yeah. So. I think it's around 60 degrees right now for me. Yeah. Is, Actually, super, I love I'm coming, it. I'm coming back that way at the end of, uh, end of March. Fuck. Yeah. Yep, same thing me and we, Jared did last year, so we'll be waiting eagerly nice. to get hammered with you guys again. Oh, absolutely. We will be there. <laughs> <laughs> Bring everyone. Perfect. We will be there again, anytime. <laughs> All um, I could ask. 
Soup, what is your favorite content to make? Do you prefer making music or silly videos? Um, I like both. I mean, that, I feel like I'm pretty lucky with what I do because I feel like I sort of have an outlet for almost every emotion that I feel as a human, you know? Like if I'm... <laughs> <laughs> silly, goofy, it's gaming time. Yeah, like if I'm if I'm in a goofy, silly mood, I, I'll go record a video or, or something or make a funny meme song or... or you know, something like that. If I'm pissed off, I'll go work on a actual song or, or, or write a riff or play the bass or play guitar or play the drums or something. So I just, I don't know. It just depends on the mood. I'm not always in a funny, silly mood all the time. I'm a human just like anyone else. So Nope, impossible. <laughs> you know, I just, I go with the flow and so far it's worked pretty well, I guess. You balance them pretty uh, damn well, to be honest. I feel like yeah. Even when you were like doing a shit ton of like recording with your band and stuff like that, I feel like it barely disrupted like gaming. Like I feel like you were around nearly as much. So I feel like you yeah, balance them really fucking well. It's 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 pretty I, impressive I to be honest. Your work ethic is definitely impressive. Thank you. I I feel the same way about you, with you traveling and and going and doing shit. Oh, love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> little little gay moment between me and Blark. It's okay. Yeah, episode maybe. three of last. I of am getting. Uh, ooh, yes, very good episode. Yeah, but yes, yeah, I'm getting a boner. Sorry. Is what I was starting to say. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have ever thought a Canadian and a guy from South Carolina would? Forbidden love, like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> yeah, I'll forbid uh, it. You will not get married. <laughs> now we have to, and then kill ourselves when there's a minor inconvenience. <laughs> I try to optimize my time, though. Like I try to. Like like you said, we have all this free time. Like I try to like Use visualize <laughs> that because I, I yeah I wake up pretty early, just in general. So I like you know I'll do stuff in the morning that is just sort of like me time or whatever, and I just work on my own sort of thing. And then later in the afternoon is usually when we do stuff. So I'll do stuff with with gaming and everything later. It just depends, mm -hmm. you know. I don't try to force anything because i feel mm -hmm. like when you start forcing yourself to do stuff that you sort of lose the uh the love aspect of it yeah and, you know i don't ever want to not enjoy what i'm doing which might yeah. be selfish but it's just the truth no that's that's pretty pretty fucking fair to be honest well you gotta you gotta continue enjoying it for you to put out the best shit because then i was gonna say especially with a creative job you kind of have to be in love with it like if you turn youtube into strictly just like like, I feel like that's what happens with a lot of, like, last-gen YouTubers is they literally turned YouTube into a cash cow and didn't care about, like, anything yeah. else. They stopped Just caring about what they money. were putting... Yeah, what they were putting out. They stopped caring about, you know, a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So, I, I don't know. If you if you force yourself to make YouTube strictly, like, career and strictly just cash cow, I, it's going to be miserable. <laughs> oh, I don't have any ready to go. Damn it. Yeah, do I, I have one. Last, last podcast. I, I, I have a gift, but I don't know what this is. I'm scared I to use this. it. I, 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 oh, my pe People are uh, constantly timestamping the monkey jump scare, so I'm just giving them something to timestamp. <laughs> I'm farming comments right now. That boy, keep keep <laughs> up the good work, champ. <laughs> Paganani? I, I, I'm sorry if I said Pagan, your name wrong. Paganani? Peg my nanny. <laughs> Peg my nanny says, if you could drive any car anywhere, what car would you choose and where would you go? Ugh. Can this be across the ocean? Is this like I would drive Gravedigger across <laughs> America. Damn. That'd be kind of fun. That'd actually be really <laughs> fucking fun. Dude, you'd have to stop at you'd see every gas station in all of America. You would literally get ten feet and have to stop. <laughs> yeah. I would drive an M eighteen Abram across okay. the southeast. Isn't that a tank? Yeah, I think Sounds so. Like or a something tank. like that. Uh, Whistle and Diesel has a, a tank. Speaker. You could you could ask Whistle and Diesel about his tank. I know he's. Got I would one. drive an M18 Hellcat. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tank. <laughs> that's go a with tank. That. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm about it. That's a fair one. It would be cool to just take a tank just down a highway. Yeah. Yeah. Just just yeah. hand out. I don't know. How hand out the top. Be. Just you know. Driving the like shit. Playing your you, song. You get locked onto by some like missile. I, I don't I don't know. I I'm pretty Somewhere. sure Diesel has driven his on public roads before. That's I don't know. That's wild. I'll ask I'm him. I'm sure next he had to call Tennessee. a few people. <laughs> before I, don't, he did that. I don't know, man. He lives in like well, he, I don't know, I, not at his house, but his uh 
barn, like where he keeps that shit, it's kind of in the middle of fucking nowhere, Tennessee. So like, I feel like nobody would ha- would really care. And like his closest neighbor, <laughs> his closest neighbor has a big ass Confederate flag outside their their house. So I don't think they're gonna call the police and be like, yeah, there's a guy here. <laughs> like no way, he's gonna be fucking rooting for him and go. He's just go building the, up go to the con- fucking White House. Get there. <laughs> he's just he's just building up the Confederacy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't, I don't think I don't think anybody around him is gonna fucking call the police and be like, yeah, there's a tank. Come on, help, please. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. I don't, I, do, I, don't, I don't even know if I can answer that one. I, I, that's a tough question. I feel like I'd like to take my Porsche and uh, drive through through Italy would probably be the most fun thing I could do. Respect. I would like to leave the, the continent. I've never been outside yeah. of the continent. So somewhere over in Europe or Asia or some exotic shit. Asia would be fun. Some 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 flying car boat hybrid where I can go anywhere, then yeah, overseas whoa, whoa, whoa. somewhere. The government might kill you. Let's not. Sorry, that doesn't well. exist. <laughs> I'm not building one in my garage. It's not real. That's Have a water something? powered engine. <laughs> I'm not building a water powered engine in my garage. Oh, that one. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Whoa. YouTube is tweaking. What well, are they it, doing? Within the one <laughs> sentence Soup said there, I got a copyright claim, and then the copyright claim was released. I've had that before. So let's go. Someone's trolling. Somebody's uh, conscious somebody, got somebody's to him. Doing a, somebody's doing a little bit of trolling. <laughs> it's on like a two-year-old video. Whatever. All right. Sorry. Carry on. That was just uh, that was just bizarre YouTube um, moment. It'd be happening. Spaghetti or meat? Still meat. Still meat. Still, yeah. I, I, still spaghetti meat. can go suck a dick. <laughs> the one constant in life. <laughs> uh, Fuck was that? Okay. <laughs> I'll just harmonize Cisco, frog noises. <laughs> Cisco says, if you had to switch to a different genre of music to produce or cover, which would it be? It can't be anything rock or metal related. Probably something electronic, because that's what I did before I got super into guitar and doing YouTube. Uh, Shrooms also asked the same sort of question, so I'll say their name as well. I don't want to make like the, the mainstream... like. Like, I, I always liked making super ethereal, like, atmospheric type shit. Really big sounding stuff. Um, That's dope. That was my first, like, YouTube channel, which is privatized and you'll never see the light of day of. But, uh, yeah, that's probably what I would do. Go back to my roots. What would you do, Soup? I'm curious. I'd probably do country. I like yeah. a lot of, I can see like, that. Old, old, old school country, yeah. Yeah. I don't really get down with any of the the new stuff some of the it's new stuff good. is <laughs> some of it's good but i I really i really like like 80s and 90s country yeah. and That's even some fair. of that isn't isn't great but there there's definitely some some gems in there that is overlooked so. yeah i don't know what i would do i feel like part of me likes the idea of like some sort of hip-hop but not like i don't know i it's like I don't, I don't know what I'd do. I'd still want to stick with instruments. Like, I would never just want to, like, have a beat or something, like, yeah. made for me, and then just go, like, do, you know, rapping or light singing, whatever it is, over a beat. I feel like in, uh, instruments would always be, would always have to be up there. But it'd probably be some sort of weird variation of hip-hop or, like, honestly, would be really fucking cool is, like, uh, doing, like, music for movies and games. Yeah, yes, like sir. orchestral yeah. soundtrack shit, or like yeah. anything like that, where like you get told a vibe and you're told a scene, and you'd like have to visualize that scene and think of like how could I make music that would go along with this? Like that would be fucking awesome. That shit would be that'd so be a fun. cool exercise to do. Yeah, like I used to do for that someone shit. Yeah. on an instrument, like look up a, a scene or something and mute yeah. all the audio and try and mm-hmm. come up with a try song. Try to come up to with fit. music that would work well. That's yeah, a that'd cool be idea. Super, that'd be super That's a really fun to cool do. Idea. I yeah. did that for that uh, that movie where uh, Matt Damon's left on Mars. What's that movie called? I can't remember. Martian? The, Martian. the, the Martian. Martian? Yeah, Martian. I did something like that for that. <laughs> really? Um, That's cool. For, a, uh, for like a senior project in college. Yeah, I just made oh, this no big way. like orchestral thing. It's called Neptune. Uh, it's on my Spotify. You don't have to oh, listen to it, but it's it's just some just some orchestral meme. But uh, it was oh. very fun to do. So yeah, yeah, that that I, that'd probably Can be relate. where I'd go. Jay says, "What does everyone order from Taco Bell?" Chalupa Supremes. Uh, <sighs> I've had Taco Bell twice in my life. What? Um, one That's time was 
Uh, let's add another thing to that list that you wish you had in Canada, boy. We have Taco Bell. You don't go to Taco Bell? No. So the only time I've had it was at an airport in Punta Cana. Um, and then I had it... Uh, actually, that's a lie. I've had it three times. I had it once with my bandmates back in the day because they were fucking livid that I've never eaten Taco Bell. And then <laughs> one time when we were filming a... I think it was filming the McLaren. Um... I, I I took it to Taco Bell because it was the closest thing, and I didn't want to put too many miles on the McLaren that wasn't mine. So we just drove to Taco Bell, and I had uh, I had a Crunchwrap Supreme, and it was it was pretty good actually. It wasn't bad. That's oh, definitely dude. like mid tier on their on their list. Um, if I'm, I mean, go ahead. Is, Sorry, is, is right. my favorite of the three things I had. So you gotta you gotta you gotta try like the Dorito Taco. You gotta try like yeah. the uh, the Chalupa Supreme. They also, if you're like a super fat ass, they have a, a Chalupa Supreme that's larger, and it's just like a giant boat of a taco. <laughs> that's um, disgusting. I've never seen that. And then the, the nacho fries is probably the best thing they have out of anything. So if you haven't had those. Had, I don't know if I've had those. What the fuck? They're so good. And, and it's one of those things where they just choose to only have them sometimes, like the McRib, for no reason, when people would buy <laughs> the hell out of them all the time. So. I... It depends on how hungry I am and if I'm really feeling like a, a major fat ass. Yeah. Because I love their uh, the chicken quesadilla. Boy. Buddy. Don't get me started. That chicken quesadilla with the fire sauce or whatever. Oh, my God, mm -hmm. dude. Sometimes I'll mix the fire sauce and the uh, Diablo sauce together and dip the chicken quesadilla in it. Ooh. That shit's so good. It's we'll so say, we'll say good. Their hot sauces do fuck. And their fries are very good. And I really like their, uh, what's it called, dude? I'll get like a chicken quesadilla. Oh, I have to look at their fucking menu and see what this thing is called. What is this thing called? I haven't had Chick or uh, not Chick fil A, uh, Taco Bell in quite a while. I eat a lot of Chick fil A uh, now. Chick fil A goes crazy. Yeah, Chick fil A is always good. Chick fil A, the goated diet food. Yep. Just get yourself I know, some grilled nuggies or yeah, a grilled, grilled sandwich. Nuggies. Bro, eat yeah. like fucking twenty five grilled nuggies. Call it a day. Pure Easy protein. Yeah. yeah, macros go insane. And then a honey cheesy mustard. gordita crunch. That's very good too. Oh, I've heard of those. I'll, I've never had. I'll one. get like two of those and a chicken quesadilla. I'm I'm a happy man. And yeah. Baja Blast. Woo! I've never well, had a I'm Baja a Blast. Boy. Yeah. It's good. It's all right. Not a big not a big what? soda guy. Like I don't I don't really care for soda too much. I wish that I didn't like soda. Why. It's it's always been a yeah. A don't you drink like a Coke me. a day? Uh, not every day, but like just I I always have some on hand. That's Maybe wild. <laughs> every other day or something like that. That's wild for somebody who's like been pretty skinny always. Yeah, well I wasn't always skinny. I was I got up there. Um, you go watch some of my older Omega videos. I had some man boobs. But really, uh, you carried it pretty well then. I, I got up to, so I'm 5'9", so, like, a good weight for me when I'm, like, lean is, like, 130. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I got up to about 160, so it was starting to show. Okay, yeah. you're yeah. And I wasn't lifting. I wasn't working out. It was, like, pure just fat. Yeah. So. Yeah, I need to start lifting myself. Bro, it's so fun. I love you it. You get addicted. I, need, I, I, I was into it. it. I was into it. I've talked about it, but I was really into it for a while, and my mistake was doing it every day. And then I was I would start waking up in the middle of the night like I couldn't breathe because my really? chest like hmm. yeah because I was I was doing it every day like a fucking idiot and then yeah. I'd wake up and be like <gasps> like I couldn't fucking breathe uh, like something in my chest like, so I was, yeah, yeah so sure. I was like I was like okay maybe I shouldn't continue this but I yeah. it's something that I I should have done it more in moderation yeah, yeah maybe take a slower so. approach if you start again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, what really honestly, turned, turned me off from working it. with like, a PT. Want... Like changed how I wanted to do it. Like it's it's mm -hmm. getting a PT is genuinely so good. You only have to work with them for like a month, and then you'll know what the fuck to do, so you don't end up like doing what you did on accident, where you overwork yourself or underwork yourself. Because a lot of people are also scared to push themselves because they're like, I don't want to get an injury. But it's like, okay, you're lifting twenty five pounds, you'll be okay. So right. it's like <laughs> you need a trainer to help push you and find your limit where you're like safely pushing yourself. So yeah, yeah. They, they they're great. Highly recommend. That's definitely something I've thought of is getting a, a physical trainer. Yeah, yeah because I, I feel like they you know would teach me the proper way, and it's always nice to have someone to like motivate you, hold you accountable. Playing, yeah, yeah. Growing up playing sports and everything, like having a coach, you know, is is a a, a good thing to have. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I was, I've been working out for years and years, like probably five years now. And I didn't start making real progress until I got a PT. And then literally from there, just started like dropping like at least two pounds a week of like pure fat. And that was pretty extreme. I was on a pretty hard cut and stuff like that. But having somebody who like actually pushes you to do, you know, to be the best you can when you're at the gym and then also diet and stuff like that. It's crazy how much it helps. Yeah. So, Your progress has been recommend. really, really good. You're kicking. Yeah, ass, it's, it's kind of wild. I, I like didn't even notice until I like looked at other like old shirtless pictures of me because he made me do like one picture a week I had to send to him and like looking at the first one to where I'm at now is it feels very satisfying so whenever somebody like starts a journey like that where they're like I want to lose weight or I want to get stronger like even if you don't want to lose weight and you just want to get stronger like take a picture of yourself and look how like you know yeah. flappy you look before and it's like you'll you'll be so happy that you're like doing it and stuff like that it's awesome but I wish also, I did that I, I didn't yeah, take I'll, progress photos yeah you should have it's, uh, it's so good but also like I don't know you don't have to I don't know. Your 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 self worth isn't defined on your ability to, you know, work out and look good and you know stuff like that either. So there's like it's like a double edged sword too, where you you can't because it can get out of control if you're like trying to lose weight and trying to put on muscle and stuff like that. It is a very quick way to slip into like violent body dysmorphia and oh, stuff yeah. like that. So like you have to keep yourself checked there and understand that like you know humans naturally are meant to have fat on them. Having yep. fat isn't you know it doesn't diminish your attractiveness it doesn't d diminish your worth or anything like that because just it's crazy how bad especially in like bodybuilding and stuff like that it's brutal how like hard these people are on are like on themselves and stuff like that well it's, yeah the struggle to, to be see. to have uh, an eight pack year round yeah. first of all eight percent body fat and that's not like even that. healthy they're no. they're on gear most of them yeah, anyway absolutely to, to maintain that and abs mm -hmm. are overrated because when you because I, I had it I got lean as fuck, and you know what? I felt like shit. Yeah. Um, it affected me in, like, everything. My job, recording sessions, I had no energy ever. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I now I have a little bit of stomach fat, a little bit of ab, and I feel great. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's so where better. abs are overrated. And you can't yeah. all be born as good looking as yours truly either. So right. Some of us, sometimes Bro. God just blesses you. Jacked soup, none of us would have girlfriends anymore. No. They'd all be gone. <laughs> It all Don't be let my mom on I, I, have, I just, I personally have no interest in, in, in that. Like, I mean, I want to be healthy, but I, don't, I have no interest in being a shredded. No. Uh, no. A shredded. It's whatever. not worth it. It's I, around like 12% is the lowest I'm, I'm sticking with. Like, I'm good with being around 12% body fat at my lowest. Like, I don't, I don't ever want to see fucking single digits. That shit seems like no. hell on earth. It's not maintainable. Like, one. And you can see like veins in your like lower stomach going down to your fucking cock. And it's just like. That's not even attractive anymore. Like you've nah, lost a plot. You look like a freak at some <laughs> point, you know. Yeah, you look like a storm cloud rolling in. Like, twelve percent. Not... <laughs> yeah, twelve twelve percent is like what most athletes who are uh, not football players, you know, but like most like yeah, average like athletic fitness is like that's where yeah. most of them sit anyway. So if you're just talking about general health and being like an athlete, they're not bodybuilder lean. That those those no. dudes could not There's run no a mile point. or anything. It's you not. Know? It's not even. Yeah, literally. And like when they are like. Like my trainer, uh, he, my PT is uh, he's a bodybuilder, and uh, like when he's cutting, <coughs> I will outlift him, and he his biceps are bigger than my quads, like he's fucking huge. But like if it's cutting time, like they're on like twelve hundred calories of just like the most oh. boring, gross fucking food possible. There is no energy. Like he told yeah. me before shows, if somebody called his name, he wouldn't even have the energy to like turn and look at them. Yeah, like he would literally oh just God. ignore people because they, they would like they, they would not be directly in front of him. No carbs. They don't drink water. They they can't get no. bloated. They can't. Yeah, yeah. So they have just nothing. Yeah, if you have like if you're dehydrated, your skin will stick to your muscles a lot more. Um, even actors have to do it a lot. Like, uh, they will literally dehydrate you for like three days, so they'll still have a tiny bit of water because obviously three days of that water you're gonna die. Yeah. Um, but they'll like moderate every drop of water you can have, and. Uh, like no make salt. sure your skin is sticking to your body. Yeah, no salt, no creatine, no a yeah. lot of like you can have protein, but too much protein will cause a bit of bloat. So it's like they have to find the limit there, and then you're hungry because you're not getting enough protein. It's just it's hell. It sounds like genuine fucking hell. So just find a good middle road. Have a little bit of fat. Be healthy. Do cardio. Find where find work where out you your feel heart. good. Yep. And also understand that almost every single Hollywood actor you see with fucking six packs. Uh, they're they're usually on some sort of TRT or some oh, other sort 100%. of uh, steroid. 
So yeah, like, these don't don't think you're supposed to look like Chris Hemsworth in Thor. That's not natural. Right, because especially the 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 key giveaway too is like they're like, well, I started preparing three months out from shooting. It's like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. buddy, you're a natural yeah. athlete, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that shit's fucking insane. But uh, yeah, no, working out though it's great. Even if you're doing cardio, or even people that are like, oh, I don't have time. It's like, man, go for, like one hour a week. It's not you're not you're not going to see a shit ton of project progress. Um, that's just being realistic, but like, you'll feel so much fucking better. You'll just, if be you can do nothing else, go for a 20 minute walk. Like every day, mm -hmm. like you can yeah, walk and do something. Like when I answer emails, I just walk around my house, you know, like I, just went move for, more. I went for an hour walk yesterday and, uh, before I did my, my 10 minute Zumba and just th like you, f you really do feel so much mm -hmm. better. Absolutely. Even just a small amount of of being active like yeah even after i play a show with my band just being up there and moving around that's a lot of work and, and head banging yeah, yeah. like you feel so much adrenaline it's just it feels good endorphins feels man good your to, body literally yeah. rewards you for working out mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah and food um, just feels better if you like like one thing i like i i wasn't super strict with my diet before i tried to be around the 2000 calorie mark um but sometimes i just wasn't and whatever but like when you actually start to count calories and like pay attention to what you're eating, when you do get like a burger or something after not having like, you know, shitty food all week, like that shit feels so much more rewarding <laughs> and yeah. like feels so much better than just like burger every night or like whatever you want every night. So yeah, it's awesome. Yep, Plus real. diet, it's diets like way honestly, I'd say diets as important, if not more important than working out. Cause like you can't like, you cannot outwork a bad diet, no. but you can out diet a bad workout regimen. Like if you only work out once a week but have a great diet, you're gonna you're gonna look good. But if you and like you're gonna feel eat a shit good. ton. Yeah. yeah, but if you and you eat a shit ton of bad food and then, you know, work out five days a week, like you're not gonna really get progress. You you're gonna dirty yeah. bulk, but it's like you're gonna feel like ass most of the time because your body wants good nutrients and you're feeding it sloppy yeah. grease. All of fitness is like seventy percent what you do in the kitchen and thirty percent what you actually do working out. Because like, yeah, absolutely. if you if you go and lift the hardest lift you've ever done, but then you only eat carrots, you're not gonna gain any muscle. You don't fuel your body with protein, you know. And so it's it's nutrition mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Long story short, take care of yourself. It's fun and rewarding, and you should do it. And do cardio. No, fuck yes. cardio. Don't do cardio. Professor Benson asks. Burn. 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 What video game power up slash effect would you want to have in real life? No cheat codes or glitches. Ooh, there's a lot. Video game power up. I mean, the star from Mario is a good one. Obviously, in you invincibility, just run killing people, to get hit everybody by you touch dies. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be a good one. Uh, also, having the the hammer from Super Smash Bros. <laughs> that would That's be cool. from Donkey Kong, bro. Come on. Well, all right, you're right. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. I've sinned. Father, forgive me. Uh, I've, I've actually thought about this. I've, I, I have put some thought into this. I I always thought like. Oh, if I can only pick one, oh, it's so tough to pick between, like, being able to fly anywhere, like, fast as fuck, like Superman or some shit. That'd be kind of dope. Or, or turning invisible. I don't know, dude. See, I don't know if the invisible one would be as useful as, like, teleportation. I can immediately I like imagine. Would be like, super useful. I mean, if you want to be hey, you're like in an awkward situation, just like teleport. I get sick of this podcast later, nerds. <laughs> the invisible one, I feel like, would be great if you were a fucking creep. You could just kind of, you know, watch people. But I feel See, like it I would want to do it. Doesn't it doesn't have much to, practical use, like, does it? I would want to do it to look at grandma's changing. Yeah. That's why I would Okay, yeah, yeah so see, I'm, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried <laughs> the answer would be. That's what I was worried about. I, I feel was. like it would be fun to fuck with people if you could turn invisible. Like, you go into a restaurant, <laughs> like, say you go into, like, a Red Lobster, and they got, like, a fresh basket of Cheddar Bay Biscuits, and you just walk grab over and you just all. grab them bitches and run out. Just, just like, a floating Cheddar be, Bay Biscuit but leaves their you could also do that. So awesome. <laughs> you could also do that teleporting. You could just grab them and boop, gone. Cheddar but then Bay they're Biscuits like, oh, it's that guy. That's the guy who teleported with my Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Kill him. And then the SWAT team And then you, you teleport and again. Home. It doesn't matter. Florida man teleports away with Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> <Cheddar Bay Biscuit. laughs> Real what headlines. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'd probably say like some sort of like healing thing. I feel like it's like, oh no, I got hit by a car. Or respawning. How about that? Respa Where it's like, I so have, immortality I, type thing. Yeah, I guess. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I have terminal cancer. Okay, I respawn. No worries. 
Like, you see, know, I feel like you could never tell anyone. Like, if you told people that you had this power, yeah, I wouldn't need to. They would just be like, "Hey, man, yeah, I saw you. You like looked pretty fucked up from that car the other day." And be like, "Yeah, I, I injected ivermectin into me, and now I feel great." Um, but see, then you would be the most you know? like popular dude. You would, and you think never the teleporting get... guy with Cheddar Bay biscuits? Nobody's gonna go, "Hey, what's that about?" Well, see, that's the beauty of the invisibility thing. Is like. Like, think about it. If you can fly or teleport and people start to figure out who you are, you're going to be followed around like the fucking royal family. You just are never going to have any... It's where you wear a mask, a uh, uh, uniform, an uh, outfit, superhero. Oh! Shit, yeah. Superhero. Oh. You just become a superhero. Just got a cramp. Oh! I'm itching my leg. <laughs> Donkey Kong! I just got a fucking Charlie horse. Woo! Baby, that's fun. <laughs> uh, True and real. <laughs> I hope but you see, are I feel okay, like if babe. You, if you turn invisible, like right now, when I just got my fucking embarrassing ass cramp, I could just be like, <laughs> and go cry in the other room or something. <laughs> oh, god damn. Um, let's see. Any other questions? Let's do one more question. Okay. We wrap this bitch up. We wrap it up like it's a big old cop. like a corpse in my basement. Amen. Oh God! This whoa, guy whoa, gets whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. in my basement. Oh, I, I don't, have we answered this one before? We might have. Um, what's your uh, What's your favorite? Uh, so it was Faded Eclipse. They They asked a whole big question, so I'll <laughs> read the whole thing. But there's one part specifically I'm interested in. Uh, how has the journey been from when you first started till now? And what have you learned over the years of doing YouTube? And what are your favorite moments and memories? Uh, more so that last one. Do you guys have like a specific like? video on your channel or something that you just fucking find hilarious and you like always rewatch or whatever do you guys have like a favorite you know recording or sponsor or whatever that we've done probably a lot actually because i've been doing this for a long time yeah yeah that's tough i could from, think of a few omegles what time period uh like when i got my hello kitty guitar that was a lot of fun um mm -hmm. just going on there and people calling me gay and then just I like shredding that for them and stuff I like that, that was i like that do era that was a lot of fun. The double guitar, which I'm still in the in the midst of, was a lot of fun because it you're just farming reactions. People love that. That's fun. Mm -hmm. um, dressing up as a woman was fun. That was fun as hell. I bet it was, I bet it buddy. was buddy. I bet yeah, you, I, I still do it today. I still one. do it. I'm putting on my skirt after this podcast. Um, <laughs> um, a lot of videos with you guys. I don't know, like it's some of the old siege videos Aww. we made. Yeah, I love you guys. Siege is good. You, you know what? Good my favorite that we've done though. The first, I think it was the first time we played Red Dead. It was all of the goons plus Spoon. I I don't know if it was the first time we played Red Dead, but it was like one of the first times I uploaded it. And oh, Spoon video, wasn't that one. That was <laughs> like yeah, on the other train. train. That was a fun yeah, one. Dude, yeah. That is one of my favorite fucking videos of all time. Like, I, yeah. I don't know if I've uploaded a funnier video. Um, Very good. And then I, I like I like the Warzone era with uh, Smitty, Puffer, and Grizzy. I thought that was super fun for me, and that's like that really helped my channel and separate me from like not only being relevant in the goons community, but you know, yeah. getting my own fan base from elsewhere. I think those that that era and then that fucking Red Dead video, they, they're just so fucking <clears throat> funny. It's it's tough for me to pick. Like I, I feel like a lot of stuff we've done is has been. Super, super funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. It's so hard to choose. Yeah. I don't know if I really have a favorite. Yeah, that's, that's why fair. I just kind of <laughs> listed generic, like, eras. Because yeah. it's hard yeah. to be like, this exact video. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like so yeah, many. I don't know. We've had some good know. fucking eras. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of shit. A lot of the Siege stuff was mm -hmm. really good. Because it was a... I feel like we were super fresh... With a lot of the the jokes and and stuff, yeah. So that's always always good. Oh man, I don't. And know, the dude. group was so new that like all the humor we had hasn't meshed together yet because we're yeah, kind of so just everything one, was new. We're like one entity right now. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. we are, we share one fucking brain cell. Whereas before we like <laughs> all had different uh, types of humor, different jokes, different like things to contribute to each other. So like, you know, just uh, the way. You know, people made jokes then. It was just, it was so new and fresh to you, so it was so funny still. I mean, this but. is a bit of a hot take, but I actually really liked the Among Us era at first. I thought that was a did, lot so of I fun. Did, I did I too, honestly. Was fun. Yeah. I, 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 dude, it was great. That was that was huge, bro. I have never Among met Us era more was people like, in such a short amount of time ever in my life, mm -hmm. I don't think. Yeah, yeah Among Us was honestly a really, really good time. 
Yeah. Because like cool that, I, I feel like that alone helped my channel personally out way, way more than I would have ever predicted. Because I like, I was just like, oh, Among Us is some like fun little party game. Yeah. That I'll just you know shit post me playing with some friends mm -hmm. and it banged and it, like, like it happened like Among Us like came out and started getting popular like right when the pandemic happened mm -hmm. and like it was such a weird time because like so many people were just staying at home and so many new people were getting into gaming yeah. and like Among <laughs> Us just happened to be at like the forefront of like oh everyone's yeah. into gaming here's this like free fun game that a bunch of people can play and like posting videos on it those videos were just blowing the yeah, fuck they up were and banging yeah. I mean, it yeah, gave so like was great. Puffer his career was off that. So like, oh, even true. even though I didn't do that much with the Among Us era, like my Among Us videos were always like ten out of ten. Like my Among Us videos always tanked. But like, yeah, it gave a lot of my friends their initial jump to, you know, make their career, which means I can make more content with them. And like, like that's when Puffer went full time. And obviously, I recorded with Puffer a shit ton and used to stream with him a shit ton. So like, I loved it for that. Where like it allowed you know, a lot of my friends to finally take YouTube full time. And I don't know. It was, it was dope. And like, yeah, like you said, like meeting people and like, yeah, stuff like that. I think that was the last time I recorded with Fitz was on that fucking game, which is mm, depressing yeah, as same. hell. <laughs> same here, I, I believe. Yeah. I was really, really puffer <laughs> specifically. We need to have him on. Yeah. He specifically was I someone that I was, I was really, really happy for. Cause I've known puffer for so long. I've, yeah. God, I yeah. used to do like fucking, black ops zombie easter egg mm -hmm. videos with puffer yep. like way back in the day yep and so seeing him start to ha have a, a flourishing career i was mm -hmm. really proud of that yeah before i'm same. kind of surprised you and i didn't meet sooner because we were we were kind of making call of duty shit at the same time you know our circles yeah. just never meshed i guess at the same time or collided yeah because i knew a bunch of people that you hung out with just i didn't meet you until whenever i don't remember csgo game show I think yeah it's first time so yeah i no. uh i think well i knew soup before from one of my friends dergy he was like a big fan of soup's rust videos so he's like yeah just watch some of this guy's videos with me so i sat in discord with dergy for like an entire night watching soup's videos so oh i knew God. who soup was I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm so dude, sorry. It was pretty funny. I liked them. I liked your Rust content. Nah, you've always funny. been funny. Um, Thank you, baby. And then uh, on, I, 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 I didn't really make it to the um, uh, Omegle era, area of YouTube, so I didn't know who Do was, I'm going to be honest. Um, That's okay. And then McNasty, again, Dergy introduced me to, but like for playing with, not actually. I didn't know his content. Uh, Dergy was just like, hey, you should play with this guy. He's funny. And then, yeah. Uh, so I didn't really know know anyone but Soup beforehand for you guys. And thus the history books. The history books concluded. Yeah. I mean, wait, started, not concluded. <laughs> uh, are we good on that I one? Think, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so. I think so. That was a nice yeah. podcast. That was good. That was a good time. Was. Yeah. yeah. At, we we should do another Q and A sort of thing soon. Maybe ask maybe, us like maybe ask some out of the box questions like. Yeah. What kind of charms do I want to put on my Crocs? I don't know. Ask yeah. me some wow. I got, shit. I got, I got minion charms on my Crocs. But yeah, we can do another one in like uh, April or May, maybe. We can yeah, go, we can go around there. Yeah, baby. Absolutely. Couple, couple months. Let some, some good questions pop up. Yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, that was that was fun. That was a good time. Blarg, do the outro. Me? Oh wait, 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 yeah. wait! I'm oh, not built oh, for oh, this. Oops. Use code, code goons. goons. Use code use goons. Code Sorry. goons. Sorry. Use code goons. Yeah. The more you use code goons. The more, uh, the more money we make. So the longer penis I get, and I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, the, I didn't, the more bullets they yeah. remove from the gun pointed at our heads. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Anyway, you you do the outro. What is that? We can't swap it up this late. We're on like episode oh! one fucking thirty. We can't just. But this is like if we've been married for ten years, and one day you're just like we're we're changing sides of the bed. That's not what happens. Stop doing. Stop eating that. Stop eating that. Soup Two nice eating. funny moments. Like it's just the black spaghetti. Like the video, and Soup will stop eating that headphone cable. <laughs> no one's liking the video. <laughs> Use code goons. <laughs> Use code goons. Buy some G subs. It helps us out. Helps out G subs, the company, because they get money, and we get money, and you get a cool little drink that'll kill you. 
and <laughs> go to Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cool little drink. <laughs> it's a cool little drink. Um, go to Spotify, download on Spotify, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for all the love and support. We will see you next time. Goodbye.